my dear love my dearest divine feminine as i sit down to write this letter my heart is filled with a sense of love and gratitude for you our journey together has been a journey of profound growth and transformation i learned so many things about life about myself about you about love about connection about how dark entities try to destroy a pure connection a beautiful divine connection and in all of this i also learned how to protect the love between us i am also learning to maintain this consistency i am learning to continue to show faith i am learning to remain dedicated to this path of god dedicated to you dedicated to unconditional love abstaining from addiction patterns the trials and tribulations that i have gone through followed by the triumphs the victories it has only strengthened my love for you and the bond we have my dear i want to share with you the depths the many layers of my experience and the many battles i had to face i am still facing to protect the sacred connection that we have dark energy feeds on to low vibration dark energy feeds on to fear and i was programmed to fear i was programmed to believe in fear to live in fear in many subtle ways since my childhood i was taught to act in ways that actually from outside would look like i am a strong person but inside it was just about materialism about superficial things dark energies have tried to come between us and dark energy is not always just invisible energy or just the voice in the head of course the voice in the head also comes from programming but it can be seen in vessels in human vessels or other people who try to create misunderstandings they try to break our beautiful bond the dark energies the entities the people the hardcore narcissist the cold blooded narcissist these dark forces manifested in various forms they try to take me away they try to cloud my mind with doubt despair anger the voices in my head there were so many moments when these voices these dark shadows they whispered into my ears of course i have been in temptation i was tempted i was tempted to make mistakes i was tempted to go astray these voices tried to lure me back into the patterns of addiction and self destruction when i started connecting with you or when i had this beautiful time with you i never really knew that i had attachment difficulties i never knew that i had problem in bonding in a true connection anxious bonding avoidant bonding and sometimes i was projecting or i was reflecting the mixture of both these attachment difficulties and due to these difficult situations or these 
existential crisis, I always got into relationships where I could just either run away or make some excuse. But it was only in your case where I truly wanted to commit and truly wanted to work it out. And that was new for the narcissist around me because the narcissist were okay for me to be in temporary relationships, in makeshift relationships. They were even okay if I would do hookups in my house or anywhere else. Even if someone would walk up to them and tell them that your child is like this, of course an adult child, not the child, baby child anymore. He's growing up, he's going to college and he's doing this or he's doing that. They would never scold me. They had a problem when I actually fell in love. And that's the thing I could not deal with because I was not trained to understand what love is or what lust is. It was just my intuition that helped me to fall in love. I might have fallen in love before also, but it was never so intense. Or I did fall in love or I did like people based on the materialistic things they had because that was the only way that was the only way that was taught to me to get impressed by anyone i was never taught to be impressed with personalities with characters i was never taught to fall in love with people i was only taught to love to fall in love with bodies or things wealth looks so on and so forth. And now I feel that maybe so many people around me, they were doing the same things. Their emotions were based on things, not on personalities, not on bonds, not on connections. When you told me so many things, so many interesting things about ancestral energy, about healings, about releasing addiction patterns or attachment issues, working on existential crisis, or even curses for that matter. And when you talked about psychic abilities or gifts or intuition, I, I never thought it was normal stuff. I never knew that this is actually normal and what I was living, the reality that I was living in was the illusion, the illusionary experiences, I termed them or labeled them as reality. Everything I did was literally self-sabotage. And one part of me was telling me always that what I feel for you is love but the other voice in my head or the other part of me kept telling me that you were actually just not good enough for me. The reality is that I was not good enough for you back then. I was not at your level. I was not at par with you. And maybe I still am not. I'm working on myself. So these shadows, they whispered many times into my ears taking me into the patterns and the path of addiction and self-destruction, of negativity. But in those hours of darkness, or every time I realized that there was something more beyond what I knew, the truth was something else, I was thinking about you, it was your thought, it was the divine love we shared. It was the confidence you had shown in me. It was the way you cared for me, the way you gave your all to me just to make me feel happy. All of that anchored me, took me to the light. Your unwavering faith in me and your love for inner work and your love for being who you are so many times I saw that you were so easily able to sacrifice. So easily you would say, okay, fine, do what makes you happy. 
maybe at that time i thought that you don't have self respect but i realized that if you didn't have self respect you would not have eventually made the boundaries that you did make maybe you were tired of my behavior which is acceptable not because you could not tolerate my behavior personally but you were tired of seeing that i was able to tolerate all of the toxicity to my own self looking back in retrospection and looking at all the things i've been through it was your love that gave me the strength to resist and to rise above all of this negativity i have dedicated my life to our love and the path laid out by god i abstain from addictions because i was not consuming those things those substances actually those substances were consuming me i choose to embrace purity i choose to embrace truth of our connection and with every single day with every passing day every day i wake up in the morning i commit myself to becoming a better man worthy of my divine feminine and worthy of the divine feminine energy that you embody so beautifully but actually it's within me as well because you have taught me the concept of having masculine and feminine both within us which i at one time found hard to believe but later on when i started doing my own research i started studying found out that yes our energy body does have both divine masculine and feminine the anima and the animus and various other places where i read it about chakras i read it that we have ida and pingala i mean how could i not believe you the joke was actually on me i thought i was making fun of you or my people were making fun of you all of your spiritual concepts your meditation your working on yourself your service they treated it like it was some kind of woo woo black magic dark stuff whereas it was actually my people who were full of that black or dark magic whatever they call it because gossiping about someone negatively talking about someone putting others down constantly saying mean things for someone who's so pure so divine this is all dark magic and it probably did affect us because we both lived in fear you lived in the fear that you would lose me and i lived in the fears of getting rejected and seen for who i really was your presence in my life is my not only ray of hope but a beacon of hope which guides me through the stormy seas which is like the lighthouse at the base of the ocean where i can go and rest in a beautiful island where we have just solitude and peace i did find solace in prayers and meditation which at one time i didn't believe in and it did keep me grounded i seek the help of god of spirit guides i seek the guidance of divine to keep me aligned and keep me on my mission this not only reinstated my faith which was just lost somewhere in bad lifestyle in drinking in smoking in spending time with wrong people being in bad company talking about just money and this is not making money for good causes this is not making money to have a simple life this is money to massage ego this is money to buy fancy stuff like children buy toys and then display it in front of their friends or 
anybody who needs to be impressed by it. This superficial lifestyle is not for me. I'd rather be mission oriented like you. So yes, this reaffirmed my faith, restored my faith, not only in God, but in the love that actually transcends all time, spaces and dimensions. It transcends all obstacles. It takes us back to destiny, the same destiny that got us close, that binds our soul together. It is like that red thread that never actually allows us to disconnect, that keeps bringing us back. Through this journey, I learned the true meaning of sacrifice and dedication, and you have all of my gratitude for this. I mean, I saw it from you first. I never saw anyone actually making any sacrifice for others, not even for materialistic things. I never saw it. But I saw you giving up on so many things for the happiness of others. So I realized that protecting our love, it requires awareness, it requires me to be like a detective, like some secret agent. I don't want to react. I've stopped reacting because I realize that when I react, people can manipulate me. So I am committed to growth. I am committed to healing now. My growth, my healing is my plan. This is my unwavering trust in this divine plan, the real divine plan. And I've come to understand, my love, my dear, that our union is actually a source of power. It's a source of power and love. And it can, it is capable of withstanding any darkness, any darkness, any difficulty. So, my dear, thank you for being my inspiration, my solitude, my happy place, my sanctuary, my eternal partner. Your love has transformed me. And I am so, 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 so grateful for your grace, for your strength, for your kindness, for your empathy. But at the same time, I'm also very much grateful to your kick-ass attitude. You don't take any nonsense. You are disciplined. I love you for your discipline. I admire you for your discipline. I admire you for your dedication, for your devotion. I am so grateful and so thankful that there was a time when you said no to me and you said enough is enough. And I'm obviously thankful to God, to Source, for giving us the gift of divine love that unites us. With all my love and devotion and with all my admiration for you, yours and only yours, Divine Masculine.